Good morning, everyone. Can you hear me? Hello? Hello? Can you hear me in the back? Yeah? Okay. Thank you for coming. We're going to get our schedule underway here. Thank you, everyone, for coming. So this is our first location for our unveiling. Uh, this is the Sister City Synergy. This mosaic has been up since uh, 2017, but has never been officially unveiled until today. This official unveiling of this Sister City piece is very timely as Ashcroft and Bifka celebrate 25 years since twinning on July 23rd, 1994. This mosaic is not only an interpretation of two original paintings, one by local artist Royden Josephson and Bifka artist Kazuhiko Nangaki, but it is also a symbol of the sister city bonds of Bifka and Ashcroft. Artist Marina Papayas with help from Royden Josephson, Daniel Collette, and other community volunteers were able to complete this beautiful mosaic celebrating our sister city relationship. So now I'd like to call forward two of the artists and to speak first will be Royden. Thank you. <clears throat> How's that? Okay. Uh, thank you. Eureka has, has already uh, given some of my information away, but since I spent so much time doing this, I'm going to power through it anyhow. So forgive any repetition. Ohagazamas, honored guests and friends, welcome and thank you for being here. First, a short explanation of Sister City Synergy. A synergy is the total of the combining of actions or operations that result in some greater whole, as in the sum is greater than, uh, the whole is greater than the sum of its parts. Part of this glass mosaic mural is abstracted from the mural 20 Good Years, which Joe Petty and I painted in Bifka in 2014 to commemorate the 20th anniversary of the Sister City Agreement. There are elements composed of circles, arcs, and five stepping stones found in the Ashcroft logo, which represent the 20 years. Circles suggest regeneration, renewal, and completeness. At the top of the mural is a depiction of the riverbanks of the Thompson River, and below that, a copper line that represents one of our local resources. A line at the right end curves into a part of the Bifka logo. There's a lot of red in this composition. Red is a color which suggests joy, optimism, and celebration. At the left of the mural are biomorphic shapes that suggest fish, birds, or perhaps flower petals. They represent nature and are grouped in a 575 arrangement, which is the formal structure found in Japanese haiku poetry. Superimposed on the 20 Good Years replication is an iteration of a painting by Kazuhiko Nanaki, which is based on a broad theme of life and the struggles and joys that we all experience. Now, Mr. Nagaki will have a chance to correct me if I'm wrong and to offer a more thorough explanation as it pleases him. In the mural 20 Good Years, we look back at the sister city relationship between Ashcroft and Bifka, the good work of Aki Kanemaru, Mayor Andrew Cormody, and Bifka Mayor Iwaki. In those early years, there were vital and stimulating exchanges of high school students delegations of citizens and elected officials visited each other's communities. Those connections help us to appreciate and understand the differences and similarities of our cultures and personal values and indeed help us, help us to love our neighbors. The harmony of cultures is a major focus in the public arts that Marina and Daniel are gifting to our communities. Now I've had <clears throat> the very great privilege to visit Bifka in 1997, along with a contingent of Ashcroft secondary students and colleague Joe Petty when we painted our first mural, and again in 2014 to paint the 20 good years. In both instances, I was overwhelmed by the warmth and the great generosity of our Japanese neighbors. Nowhere have I received greater hospitality. We were given encouragement and assistance by various individuals, and I mentioned especially Mr. Nanaki, the Naruki family, and the amazing entrepreneur, <clears throat> Yuji Fujikawa, who supplied literally everything requested and more, like two brand new paint sprayers, to complete the mural. He would appear on site each day before he headed off to his day job managing a thousand other projects and check in regularly to see if we needed anything else. 
That is typical. Then there was Nagaki slyly documenting the whole process to create a video, which is still available on YouTube, with which he surprises at the elaborate dinner reception at the end of our stay in Bifka. This glass mosaic mural, Sisti City Synergy, reminds us that we need to nurture this relationship. I want to thank Marina and Daniel for encouraging the idea of this mural and for their expertise and hard work in its execution. Thank you to Hiroko for your help, and thanks also to the installation crew of Father and Son Colette, Bruce Walker and Pache Dennis. Special thanks to Kazuhiko Nandaki for granting me permission to attempt a rendition of his excellent painting, which you can see on exhibit in the sidewalk gallery down the street. I'm so pleased that Kaz is here today for the unveiling of this mosaic. Although it has been here since 2017, it is fitting that we unveil it today in 2019 as a 25th year commemoration with the hope that the relationship will continue, perhaps with renewed vigor. It is a work to celebrate our dynamic cultural diversity. Thank you, Royden. And now I'd like to introduce Kazuhiko Nagaki of Bifka, Japan. Good morning. My name is Kazuhiko Nagaki. From an idea brought forward by Royden Josephson and the implementation of his idea to this Sister City Synergy project by Marina Papayas, this mosaic came to be. It is the 25th anniversary of Bifka Town and Ashcroft Village Sister City Relationship. My hope is that this art piece be liked as part of our friendship between our two communities. I am grateful and humbled that the Consulate General of Japan, local dignitaries, and you, the, the people of the community and surrounding areas, are here to witness this unveiling. Thank you very much. Thank you. So this is part one of three. <laughs> so um, there was supposed to be a community bus, but I don't see it here. Um, we're going to make our way to the IDA pharmacy building, which is just, you go up to the main street railway avenue and you cross it and there's a parking lot there. And the, p the second piece will be there. Um, and it is Kanjo. So if we can slowly make our way there, we'll set up for the second unveiling. Thank you. Hello? Oh. Power's back on, thank you. Okay, we are at site two of three. This is for the mosaic named Kanjo. This mosaic was a project fully led by the Japanese Canadian community of Ashcroft. Artist Marina Papayas was inspired to do this piece after listening to the stories of personal experiences of local Japanese Canadians and what they endured during World War II and being relocated to internment camps in BC. The title of the piece, Kanjo, translates to forgiveness without resentment. This is the message from the Japanese Canadian community. So now I'd like to call forward artist Marina Papayas and architect Daniel Collette to unveil the piece and for a few words. Marina. 
Well, we couldn't have asked for a, for a better day for this. Uh, thank you, everybody, for showing up. Wow, look at how many people are here for this auspicious occasion. occasion. Uh, we're <coughs> thrilled to have gotten to, to know the Japanese community in our town. And uh, we went to Tashmi a couple of days, days ago with Chris Sato. And we, uh, we learned, we're, we're always learning more. And, uh, and I think we, uh, we can't forget the kinds of things that have happened in the past. And I know that the Japanese community would, would not come forward and be forceful or, or voice uh, an opinion really strongly. So having something like this that tells a story but also shows the heart and soul of our Japanese people. With, with Kanjo, what a concept. So um, thank you everybody. And we're, we're really uh, happy to have been involved with this project. And um, it is community building as well. And it's also part of that connection with Bifka on top of that, so... Um, so Daniel spoke for Marina as well. I would also like to add, I forgot in my, my speech here, that the, the resources, books, some ideas, they came from the, um, the Japanese Canadian Cultural Center in Kamloops. So our Kamloops counterparts had books, you know, books of inspiration of different arts and stuff, and that was incorporated into this piece as well. So thank you to the Cultural Center, uh, Japanese Canadian Cultural Center in Kamloops for that. Um, so because this is our formal stop, <laughs> I would like to recognize that we are in the nation of the Shoquetmik and Inklaklapma territory, and we give thanks for their welcome to their traditional land. We will start uh, with two blessings. One will be a First Nations blessing by Elder Diane Sandy. And then we'll have a ceremonial blessing by Reverend Miyakawa. Uh, he is from Kelowna and he is with the BC Interior Buddhist <coughs> Ministers. After we have the blessings, then we'll uh, unveil the bench. Diane Sandy. No. <laughs> It's an honor to be always asked to do a prayer, a welcome, <coughs> especially for a special day like this. Harmony is a beautiful word, as always should be spread amongst us. Peace and harmony. That's what keeps me going. Mm -hmm. I'll say, I always say my prayer in my language. Say yours from here. And I'll sing you a welcome song. They told me five minutes. This song goes for half an hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is a welcome song. Welcome to you to show up in Kuluk. The place is called Ashbrook. Me 
needle men who quiet up the nail yet semester as Reverend Miyakawa. It is very honor to be part of this ceremony. I can see that many people come together here doing a ceremony. By doing so, we get together strong solidarity will be created here as an Ashcroft as a community here. And also by doing so, we have a proud of Ashcroft community. The loyalty we created by doing this. And next one is we educate ourselves in front of this uh, monument, this pictures and telling us many things so that uh, we educate ourselves and then just we hear that the ceremony here ritual by doing so we have all united we have a peace of mind we created those things we can have today by doing this ceremony i like a chant short chanting buddhist chanting and and, and then we do the unveils ceremony. <clears throat> ご愛門少女様一へ遺族無料収書計運人体全年長僧外国人人の空港外体無名役の生存用も人の死死人徳無料空軍高台地へ人名公名真相心道外戦官が差別外相法家道少人民不芸多数最上へ解任少人尿前
Please, everyone, close your eyes on meditation. Our life is a field with warmth in sharing life with others. It is a simple truth to learn but a difficult practice to fully realize. In personal life, it means to act by placing ourselves in the position of another. And in community life, it means to give service with joy and gratitude for the betterment of all. The practice of making others happy is based upon the clear understanding of life, which is oneness. In deep gratitude, let us realize this oneness of all life, the heart of which is compassion. Namo Amidavs. Namo Amidavs. Namo Amidavs. Namandavs. 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 Thank you very much. Now we are going to unveil the bench. <laughs> I'm going to call Mr. Nishinuchi up as our elder to do the unveiling. like to recognize that each of the three stops we had this morning we had music um, they came from Kamloops and it's Miss Chizu Khan and Miss Tomoko Ueda at the first stop they played the shamisen which is a Japanese instrument <laughs> I don't know what it compares to in in uh, in Canadian I guess it'd be like a banjo? No, I don't know. And then she played the keyboard at the second stop and also here. So I'd like to recognize uh, their... Oh, they're in the gazebo. <laughs> we can give them a hand. Thank you for coming. Now we start with our special guests. And I'd like to start with Consul General Hattori from the Consulate General of Japan in Vancouver. I didn't expect so many people get, get together this morning ceremony. And this is my first visit to Ashcroft. I'm very pleased to come here. And uh, your, I, I'm very grateful for your welcome. And also, thanks to the God for <laughs> the nice weather. OK, this is my official speech. <laughs> Emil Jackie Taga, Mayor uh, Baba Lodan, distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here in Ashcroft for the very first time for me. After walking together with you uh, through the village and uh, viewing so many colorful mosaics, I must say that I'm very moved by your warm welcome, your passion and vision for harmony, reconciliation, and of course, for art. I want to con congratulate all those who have had a part in creating this wonderful world harmony. Funders, the many art artisans, the volunteers, the Japanese Canadian community and supporting organizations, uh, they are all to be thanked uh, for their generosity. I, I was uh, explained by the, each authors about the meaning of the uh, mosaics. Uh, the, those unveiled today are the 
uh, thematical connection with Japan. The first one, Mosaic uh, Sister City Synergy, honors uh, grassroots ties between Ashcroft and Bifka, which is the name of the, uh, you always, always know that name, that mm -hmm. it, it's located in Hokkaido in Japan, which begin, began in 1994. The second mosaic, uh, Kanjo, the uh, or generosity of forgiveness, plays a uh, tribute to the Japanese Canadians by uh, portraying both their interment and their contribution during the war. It helps to restore their place of dignity in the community and foster recon reconciliation. Before I came to uh, Ashcroft, I just stopped by at the Hope District and visited uh, Tashimi, where the place where one of the internment camps was located. And I learned many things, and I saw the uh, long history of the, uh, the, and the, of, of the effort of your Canadian committee to accept the Japanese Canadian, also the effort of the Japanese committee to survive and make a harmony with this uh, country. And here uh, is at the Harmony Bench and the Harmony Bell Tower. Uh, we read the Japanese phrase, uh, which means the uh, world become, becoming one. It's, it's called Sekai ga hitotsu ni natte, the world becoming one. The cherry blossom motif, uh, which symbolizes the uh, fleeting nature of life, reminds us of the urgency and importance of working together uh, toward peace and harmony. I want to commend. Uh, I want to commend the village of Ashcroft and uh, everyone involved in this project for your community spirit, your creativity, creativity, and for your effort to promote reconciliation and harmony across culture lines. By doing so, you support the Ashcroft uh, Bifka Sister City Bounds and also strengthen the larger japan canadian bilateral relationship. Thank you very much. Thank you. Next, I'd like to call up the Honorable Jackie Taggart, MLA, Fraser Nicola. Good morning and uh, welcome to our special guests. It is an honor to have you in our community. So on this wonderful occasion, as we celebrate the unveiling of three beautiful works of art honoring Japanese Canadians, their contributions to our society, the hardships they have faced, I shouldn't look at Betty, <laughs> and their determination and ingenuity. These pieces are meant to celebrate community and cultural diversity, building roads forward to lead us towards greater peace, harmony, and compassion for one another. We cannot ignore the history that brought us to where we are today. Early Japanese Canadians were subjected to discrimination and inequality, most clearly exemplified in their internment during the Second World War. Thousands of Japanese Canadians were brought to camps here in Fraser Nicola, removed from their homes and the communities they had formed, and forced to rebuild in places they themselves did not choose. Through such mistreatment and hardships, they continued on, living honorably and diligently, investing in the world around them. And here comes the train. <laughs> investing in the world around them, and our communities are better for it. This Harmony Bench before us today completes the Bill Tower Project, a structure designed specifically to express the idea of community and harmony, to serve as a representation of the region's diversity and lead to the process of reconciliation, first in our small region and then expanding to the larger world. How wonderful it is for Ashcroft to have a permanent and physical reminder of this vision for what we are capable of when we work together, despite our differences, for the good of the larger community. I want to personally say thank you to everyone who was involved in this project. 
You make us proud to be a part of this community. And as someone said earlier, it's incredible the feeling of diversity and acceptance that we feel as we gather together to celebrate the public art that has become such a part of who we are. So thank you, and it's a pleasure to be here today. Thank you, Jackie. Next, I would like to call upon Chief Greg Blaine from the Ashcroft Indian Band. Is there anyone here for Greg Blaine? Okay, we will move to the next speaker, which is the Honorable Barbara Roden, Mayor of the Village of Ashcroft. Got promoted there, Chris. Sorry? You got a promotion. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I better not tell her that. Honored guests. <laughs> Uh, community members, thank you so much for such a great turnout on a perfect day for a wonderful day here in Ashcroft. We've seen three new things unveiled today, all with the same purpose and theme. First, the Sister City Synergy Mosaic. It reminds us of the quarter century relationship between Vifka and Ashcroft. I know that over those 25 years, the exchange of people and artists between our two communities has enriched us all. I hope it can continue, renewed, as was said at the, uh, the Sister City Synergy Mosaic. And during that 25 years, both the communities of Fifka and Ashcroft have experienced adversity, but the bonds between us are strong, and I am sure that they will continue to be. Kanjo, forgiveness without resentment. That is a beautiful, statement and it is a beautiful and stunning addition to the many stunning artworks, mosaic artworks in our town. It commemorates a significant event in the life of so many people. We cannot forget our history, we cannot erase it, but we can move forward together. I would like to say thank you to our Japanese community for showing forgiveness without resentment and for contributing so much to our community over the decades. And what can I say about <laughs> And what can I say about the Harmony Bell project which has not already been said it is an amazing achievement and to see it continue to grow and develop and be embraced over the last year and a half has been phenomenal It's a wonderful example of inclusion and welcome and it's an opportunity for us all to contemplate about the things that bring us together and the things that we love about each other and our community. In an increasingly divisive world, places such as the Harmony Bell are more needed than ever and welcomed. The addition of this beautiful bench honoring our Japanese community now completes the project and makes it even more special. Thank you to all the community groups, the volunteers, the organizations that have worked together in a remarkable display of working together and coming together and cooperating to make our community even better. And thank you to our Japanese community for choosing to be here and for enriching all our lives. Thank you, Barbara. Next, I'd like to call upon Terry Raymond and Brent Rutherford from New Pathways to Gold Society. The Attic Chinwenwen, which is thank you in Niklat Machi. And I'd also like to thank Elder Diane for her welcome song and her prayer this morning, Kukstjam. <laughs> New Pathways to Gold, oh, we're very, very proud to be here and to be part of this remarkable ceremony today. Um, we are funders uh, and we look at the history of all ethnicities from hope up to Barkerville. And so we try and celebrate all of the different ones that are within the area. Uh, firstly, starting with the Naklatma and the Shwakmak people, who were here first and upon whose lands we stand today. Uh, and then we move to all those that came to make British Columbia what it is today. 
Uh, I'm proud to be a British Columbian. I'm proud to be a Canadian. And um, I'm absolutely proud to be standing here today. One of our directors is Brent Rutherford is out there. I was going to come up here and just introduce myself and then turn it over to him, but he wouldn't get up here with me. <laughs> <laughs> but again, the amazing amount of people here today shows, shows what the, the wealth that's here in Ashcroft. And uh, I'm amazed at that. So thank you all, and thank you for the honor of being here. Cook's Jam, Homer. Thank you very much. Next, I'd like to call upon President Sue Peters of the Ashcrofton District Lions Club. I couldn't get my purse off because it's underneath my vest, so pretend it's not there. Good morning. Thank you. So. I'm really loud. I don't know if I need to. <laughs> Good morning. Thank you, first of all, to all our honored guests. It's a pleasure to have you here. The Ashcroft and District Lions finds it a great honor to be part of this project. We are so fortunate to live in a community that cares enough to work towards making amends for the injustices that have gone on before. To Marina and Daniel, thank you for your beautiful artistry, your insight, and your tribute. To our Japanese... <laughs> to our Japanese-Canadian friends, thank you for being who you are, strong, resilient, kind, and most of all, kanjo for forgiving without resentment. We must never forget the injustices of the past, and we all must continue to work together to make sure that it never happens again. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I'd call upon President David Dubois, Ashcroft and Cash Creek Rotary Club. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to say welcome to our honored guests from Consul General Hattori from Japan, Emily Taggart, Mayor Roden, um, members of the Indigenous communities that are here today. I need to speak louder? Okay. <laughs> It's not very often that people tell me that, so that's okay. Um, I'd like to start by saying Rotary is very pleased and very happy to be part of this project. For those of you that don't know, Rotary has four main tenants that we live by, and we call it a four-way test. And one of those members, or one of those parts of the test is, and, and I'm quoting here because I'm supposed to know it by heart, but you know. And it's, will it build goodwill and better friendships? And I think the artworks that we've seen today and the Harmony Project and Kanjo all look at building better friendships. And we talk a lot about communities in these events, and in, in particular, but when we're talking about community, it's not just local, it's community internationally. It's with all of our different partners and different people that we are here with today. So i just like to acknowledge that sometimes community is a bigger word than just where we are, and this project typifies that. I'd like to acknowledge the work of the artists. They've done a fantastic job. Um, I know I've talked to a couple of them, and the time and effort that goes in, not only into what you see, but the background and the planning is, is phenomenal. And I think it's, it's really important that we acknowledge that. So thank you to the artists. And while I have the mic, I'd like to put a special acknowledgement out actually to a member of the Ashcroft Cash Creek Rotary Club who's really been driving this project for us and has really managed it and I really appreciate all the work that he's done. I'd like to acknowledge Pasha Denny. Thank you for all your work. You. So on that note, uh, final note I'd like to say is I'd like to thank all the funders, sponsors and donations that help make this project possible. Uh, those are the people that really contribute and make some of these things happen for us. So it's important that we acknowledge them like New Pathways to Gold. So thank you very much for your contributions. So thank you very much, and enjoy the artwork. Thank you. We have a couple more speakers. I'd like to call upon President Tim Araki from Kamloops Japanese Canadian Cultural Association. From thank you, Rico. Uh, and honored guests, and I, I re would be uh, amiss if I didn't um, thank all my Japanese friends who have 
were here from towns. I didn't realize that there was such a large group who were originally from Ashcroft, and I see them in the crowd, and it's so nice to see, as well as friends from um, Kamloops who used to live here um, to, to celebrate this uh, very special day. Um, I want to thank the committee for inviting me to today. It's truly a special day, and when the Japanese people um, who have lived in and still live in Ashcroft and who have now moved away, it'll be a time when uh, I'm sure they'll all remember. Uh, like many Japanese um, Canadians, my parents were interned and um, never returned to the coast for different reasons. The main one being there was nothing left, left for them to go to. And the Japanese people who settled in Ashcroft, I think, uh, were the same. Um, they moved in from surrounding areas like Lytton and Lillooet. They became an integral part of the community and, to conti and continue to do so today. The contribu contributions of the Japanese families is seen all over the community as well as, uh, as, well as, the, uh, as the province of BC. It's only fitting that these mosaics that you see or have seen, as well as the other mosaics that if you have a chance you should see, that honor not only the Japanese people, but also the other cultures, cultures that have uh, played a large part in this, uh, in this community. I want to thank everybody who, is, who have come out today for celebrating this day with the people of Ashcroft and as well as the, uh, as the uh, various groups that have come today. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Next, to wrap it up, I would like to call Bishop Barbara Andrews, Territory of the People Anglican Church. Well, good afternoon, everyone. I feel a little bit of a fraud coming up here today because it's really the members of St. Albans Parish here in Ashcroft that have been the driving force behind the Anglican Church's involvement here. So I want to acknowledge them, and I want to acknowledge that Daniel and Marina has given me great opportunity in dedicating some of their beautiful pieces of work. I've been here three times now for the dedications around the Harmony Bell, and each time I'm so touched with the work that's being portrayed here. As I was driving out today, I was very aware of this being close to Thanksgiving weekend. And when I see the cherry blossoms of spring depicted here and think of how our trees are changing to their magnificent colors of gold, I don't know how we cannot be deeply thankful for the country we call home, for the indigenous people who have welcomed us here in great harmony. We, uh, we have much to be thankful for in this country. And one of the things that I think of most to be thankful for is the relationships we've built with new people as they've come here. We've built wonderful relationships with the Chinese people who came to this area, the indigenous people, people from other lands who are called our settlers. And of course, we enjoy all of the wonderful bounty that this area provides for us. So we come to deepen our relationships. We come to sit on these wonderful benches and to contemplate how we can live more closely together and in deep and deeper harmony. So I want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of this ceremony. To our honored guests, it is indeed a blessing to be with you. And uh, because I'm a person of faith, I want to give you a blessing. Is that okay? Because <laughs> I don't really know what else to do. <laughs> so, Creator God, we give you thanks for this day. We ask your blessing on all that we do and all that we accomplish together in the name of the one who first loved us. Amen.
Thank you. That wraps it up for our speakers for this location.